All right, everybody, welcome on into the first match of the ALTTPR League Finals here. Uh, we've got uh, two teams going up again today. We've got Pug Trio on the left side, represented by Futon. Uh, on the right side of your screen there, we've got the Titans Mitts, represented by Sailor Nep. We're playing a little bit of casual boots for this game one match. My name today is Dazed Cloud, and I'm going to be joined in the commentary booth by Will WC. How you doing there, buddy? I'm doing good. Good morning to you, Dazed, and good evening to uh, Rando fans everywhere. Uh, after uh, four very exciting uh, rounds of the playoffs, we have whittled 16 teams down to our final two, and this will be our first match uh, here tonight. Yeah, and uh, with casual boots, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna start it off with a, probably a quick one here. Uh, you know, for anybody who hasn't been paying attention this entire time, you can see that both runners there, starting with boots and a sword, and it is just a quick run through uncle. So we are off. Yeah. Uh, just a heart piece here in Link's house. We'll see both runners kind of take advantage of, even though the sword does not display, you can still use it while dashing. And uh, we'll see if we can get these runners uh, both kind of through escape here in a, probably about five minutes or so. Yeah, that's kind of the general idea here is, as you can see, both runners knowing that they can just kind of dash through these uh, bushes, even though they don't actually have a sword until they pick up the uncle item and now it turns out that that was a big 300 rupees so that's going to help you when you get to kakariko indeed uh that'll be nice for you know guaranteed bombs guaranteed bottle merchant all of that um and give you a little bit more flexibility and kind of routing you know especially if you go to south shore earlier you know, maybe it gives you an earlier chance to make a zora play as well right i mean uh having these boots definitely helps out a ton because you can do things like you know set up a water walk there out of the ice rod cave you can do all sorts of different little special things boots just generally make this mode um, a whole lot more fun to play right and certainly you know it gives you you know it, it it makes you know just getting around to things a lot easier and quicker for sure uh there's a fairy in a bottle which will see if our runners remember that if they have to do any death war death warping later on yeah, that's a, that's a big question. It's one of those things you're really happy to find, but you'd be a heck of a lot happier to find that if you have the mirror first. <laughs> but uh, you're not gonna you're not gonna say no to the safety for sure. Sure, and uh, obviously the access to or to sick kid as well is is nice to have early. And it looks like Nep having a bit smoother of a time through these first couple of rooms here, as uh, just kind of motoring on through, picking up a small key there out of the boomerang chest and. Kind of about a room ahead of Futon, which, uh, as we all know, is an insurmountable lead at this point in the game. Yeah, it's it's possibly over at this point, but um, you know we'll, we'll we'll stick around and see if maybe you know Futon can make a big comeback here. Yeah, I I, I think we might want to stick around for at least the next hour and see what happens here. Uh, you know, it, it, playing through a few of these casual boot seeds. Uh, I think what the one of the lowest times that we saw there, if I remember on the ladder, we got times up around like the 56 minute mark or something like that. That was like the fastest we've ever had. Yeah, I, I would be shocked if we actually hit that tonight, but it certainly is in the realm of possibility. I mean, you'd love to see it for game one of the finals, wouldn't you? Uh, I'm, I'm sure I would love to see it, and I'm sure our chat would love to see it as well. But they've never wanted anything bad to, to have a you know, be a bad placement for our runners or anything like that. Ah, no, no, no. I, I imagine there's no talk about anything else happening or placements of other items and stuff like that is we're going to just kind of keep casually talking about nothing and because uh, there's not a whole lot to say right now. The runners are just dashing through hallways and making their way to the back of escape here. Since this is a uh, casual boots here, you do start off with a light cone that'll uh, lead you through uh the back of escape sequence here dark cross and sewers and everything uh but if you were to come back through this area that would not be there um i believe that's actually in in standard mode as long as you all as even when you come back to Hy through hyrule castle uh the light cone will still be there oh okay. I, I, yeah. I i'm i think you actually are right now that i'm hearing yeah about. <laughs> i i believe i've i've run into that in that situation in the in the main tournament when i got locked out of uh the back of escape without bombs and had to come back through the front to get to it 
So. Ah, well, I mean, yeah, you guess you, I guess if you have to have experience, it's good to have experience <laughs> doing it in the main tournament here. All right, so finally a new check here. You're going to get 10 arrows out of Dark Cross as Nep is the first one back to it there. And, ooh, a nice key dash through that door. Uh, one thing we can talk about real quick while we've got the last couple of checks of, of uh, the scape coming up here. Uh, these two runners uh, both were pre-selected for the casual boots race uh, based on their uh, pendant choice for their teams at the beginning of the season. Uh, Nep went 3-0 and in her three races through the first round in casual boots and Futon went 2-1. and So both of these runners have had a lot of success in the early rounds of this, uh, this playoff bracket. As we see 10 arrows, a map, and 20 rupees there from the back of escape. So not a lot of value there yet. Yeah, this is your kind of unremarkable escape sequence here. Just a whole lot of a whole lot of nothing. Um, going to be interesting to see exactly what Nep decides to do the moment she gets finishes up with this escape sequence here. Looking like at about a 5-10 through here. Like real, real quick. Yeah, definitely, definitely a good time there. And Futon, you know, we were kind of joking earlier, obviously, but uh, not far behind. He'll be out with about a, a 520, 525 here as we see the uh, red boomerang there for Nep in the sanctuary chest. Uh, we'll almost certainly see her come over here to Boncrox and then probably into Kakariko from there. And the always kind of the big question here is, is do you want to go up and check Lumberjack at this point here? As we get a quick thing, I saw a pendant over on Eastern Palace and a crystal at Hera. I did not see what was at Desert. Did you? Uh, that's the same thing that I saw. I saw Eastern and Hera. So uh, we'll wait for either our tracker or someone in chat to to confirm for us. And big shout outs today to our tracker today, uh, Bandman25, click, uh, clicking the buttons behind the scenes here, kind of giving us a little bit of, you know, additional help finding out exactly what's going on in this game. Yeah, you know, no big value there either from the bush crab or from the tier two tree pull that Nep set up. Uh, looks like Futon is going to come up here and check Lumberjack as well. We just have a piece of heart there that I don't believe either of our runners will come back for. All right, so no Aga shenanigans required that way here, but we could still see a whole bunch of different things. As uh, yep, as we mentioned, bushcraft just going to be ten arrows, so neither runner going to be too interested in that. As wow, Nep, these lines through uh, through the forest here, just really, really great there, and that would be an ice rod sitting there at the mushroom spot. So nice and easy. Yeah, you, you love to see that early. Um, it's the the one item in the game that seems to have just. The, the worst times in searching for it. So getting that, you know, out of the way here at the, you know, before the seven minute mark certainly feels nice. Yep, yep, yep. And I believe Futon showed us that that is also a crystal down at uh, Desert Palace. Yeah, there. and we have uh, right. red rupees there on the tier one tree pool. So, uh, you know, at 460 rupees, Nep and Futon are both going to be you know, relatively close on Zora money coming into Kakariko, although obviously they'll be paying for uh, Bottle Merchant here and, you know, may decide to buy bombs on the way out of town as well. Yeah, Nep deciding to go ahead and use these bonk rocks right next to the fortune teller hut here in uh, here north of Kakariko, Kakariko to go ahead and pick up a quick bomb. Futon kind of smartly bonking from the top of that little uh, bonk rocks there. Picking up the bomb as he hits it there, kind of making it so he doesn't have to keep going in. As Nep picks up the bow and the flippers out of Blind's basement here. Well, that's an exciting pair of items. That puts uh, puts our Zora into logic that we were talking about after that early 300. Uh, just a piece of heart there in the back. But that bow uh, can maybe point you towards Eastern Palace, but with it being appended, it may not be something that either runner really is just dead set on rushing over to we'll have to see what their kind of preferences are with that yeah i think there's a good chance that both runners take a look at that bow and just go ah uh, th thanks i i guess <laughs> i don't know what i should do with this at this point because yeah, right. like if you mentioned it if you've got a crystal eastern. eastern then absolutely oh, yeah. you, you run over there and do saha eastern real easy decision but with a pendant and especially if you get you know say a pendant with pendant dungeon with three items in the front do you even bother going and killing Armos there? Uh, you know, these are kind of things that you want to avoid that dilemma if you can at all. Uh, there's a book there on the Bottle Merchant. Well, if you really wanted to right now, you could dash back up north and 
get a good idea whether or not you actually want to go finish Eastern. Uh, you could go do a ped pedestal check. Don't really see that happening now. No. But uh, it is something to think about for later. And we do see Nep with her signature uh, chicken save here in the chicken hut. And we'll see it again in the brewery or the back of the tavern, rather, uh, here shortly. Yeah, so far, um, I mean, outside of that bow and those flippers, nothing really interesting. We're still looking for some sort of dark world access right now. Is Sick Kid's going to give us blue mail? Right. Um, yeah, no this hasn't pearl? opened up a lot of great options yet. Uh, you can go do... <laughs> The front of desert and desert ledge with that book you can go do uh you know south shore here you can go do pendant eastern but yeah nothing I mean, nothing that really jumps out and screams hey this is this is definitely the the right play yet right yeah the, we're, we're still s firmly within the uh, realm of the sphere zero checks right now so there, it's yet to be seen exactly what the right play or what the right direction is as we're going to finish up Kakariko here with a piece of heart at race game so we got to figure out exactly how we're going to get into the dark worlds yet so uh gonna need either another sword or a cape and a and a lamp or we're gonna need some gloves and a hammer possibly we're going to probably want a moon pearl as well, regardless of which other way we find into the dark world. I mean, that's so. just on pyramid. Come on now. Oh, yeah. Well, that's yeah. silly me. <laughs> um, looks like both of our runners are going to go down and uh, head south here. Uh, Nep finds a second bottle in the dam, uh, this time with a blue potion inside. Actually, it's Futon on. is heading over here to buy bombs first. We're going to jump directly or into the water here. Going to hope. Um, okay. I thought he yeah, was this might be a bomb purchase. I think uh, this might be a hobo up into the Eastern Palace area sort of check. Um, not 100% sure exactly there because, uh, you know, typically if you're going to go do a, you do your uh, flipper checks, you're going to want to have enough money for Zora. And right now, uh, about 109 rupees short. Yeah, uh, it could be, you know, just a play to get hobo out of the way early because it is kind of a check that can be difficult. And speaking of Zora money, uh, Hobo <laughs> with the big money down there under the bridge uh, has 300 for Futon. So he's now well set on Zora and any further purchases in the seed. Nep using a little bit of ice rod there in mini Moldorm cave to go ahead and take out one of those guys. And there we go. There's our first thing. There's a hammer along with another bottle. There's the glove. <laughs> And this, so now we are a Moon Pearl away from having Dark World access here at about the 11, 11.45 pull mark. Right, so uh, if, you, if you were hoping for an Agassiz today, your your hopes have rapidly diminished with with those two finds. Oh, and that, that bird that Nep uh, killed there, just being a pal there, dropping a full magic container right on top of her head. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> It's a, a nice refill there, especially when you are, you know, early in the seed and not don't have a lot of other item options options for weaponry uh, than um, getting getting that magic filled up is nice for sure. Uh, Futon's going to come over here, do mini Moldorm with his last bomb, and uh, get his glove and hammer as well. Net meanwhile getting her three hundred there. Um, Probably we'll see her take this directly to Zora right now, but we'll see if she does route in Ice Rod Cave first coming south here. Yeah, that is kind of the big question right now is, is if you're going to route in Ice Rod Cave or if you're not, doesn't look like Nep is going to. It looks like Nep's going to go buy some bombs really quick here and pick these uh, pick these up real fast. I guess Ice Rod Cave with zero bombs, bit of a bit of a trouble. <laughs> right. troubling thing you, you can you can take your chance with the 50 50 rock over there but uh probably wouldn't really want to bank on that yeah so of course she also had the option of stopping at, at upgrade fairy there and getting 15 bombs yeah that's true uh that 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 is another thing you could have thought about there but i mean uh i mean i guess if you're playing cross keys 15 bombs seems like the greatest thing ever but when you're just playing a normal seed eh. <laughs> All right, uh, Futon going ahead and going uh, directly up into the uh, Zora area here. Going to st stop at Waterfall Ferry. Find out that we don't really have anything of interest. That is a whole lot of yuck right there. But uh, we're going to release the beef, toss a bottle into there, and find that we're getting a green potion. 
Yep. So now we're pretty well stocked between the blue and green potions for Futon, as well as the fairy that both runners have. Uh, pretty well stocked for safeties in addition to that blue mail that we picked up in Kakariko. Uh, I could not see what that was on the Zora ledge. I missed it as well. We'll maybe get a chance to peek at it when Net runs through there or see if Futon goes down for it after. Yeah, that's a, that's a, well, we're going to find out here in a minute if it's something that is actually interesting or not. Zora throws out 20 rupees and we get a dash down. So yeah, it must have been something good. It kind of did look around to me. It might have been the Moon Pearl. Uh, it was kind of hard to see, though. It was a very quick check and it is bombs. <laughs> okay it was round round was right it, w it was round it was uh and that was where the similarity stopped yeah pretty much yeah uh <laughs> a little bit less useful than the moon pearl i think that's fair to say there but yeah so interesting that we got no real value out of those uh sphere one flippers uh at least so far yeah, I think that's something both runners probably will be kind of filing away later as maybe we need to do Swamp Palace or Ice Palace. Uh, even if it's a pendant, maybe we'll have to go and check one of those. It's right. a, Yeah, it's kind of a nasty situation, though. As Nep sees that it's just 20 rupees from Zord, decides to save and quit out. Futon's going to go ahead and take down Ice Rod Cave real quick, get a whole lot of nothing there. Did get the 50-50 rock. Yep, so... Nep, it looks like, is going to head over towards the desert area here. Uh, we'll see if Futon does the same or if he chooses to go and, you know, maybe investigate Saha in Eastern. Uh, yeah, what would what would be your play in this this sort of situation there, Will? I think uh, got... I think this early in a seed, um, I'm, I'm usually going to be playing more for a denser option. So for me, the three items at Saha plus you know, three items guaranteed out of Eastern Palace, even if it is a pendant. Um, that versus dipping desert that you, you know, you're counting on a fire source to complete. Um, I feel like I would probably go to the Eastern area first, but, you know, I think there are reasonable options for both. Yeah, I think I, I think I would tend to agree with more with what Futon's doing at the moment as he grabs the Moon Pearl there out of Sasharala, out of the back of Sasharala's uh, closet, and he's just going to take off and say thank you very much. So, yeah, and that's um, kind of the best case there for him is that he doesn't even have to go into Eastern and do those slower checks. Uh, he just gets that Moon Pearl and has opened up all of his Dark World access uh, right away. And immediately with that, looks like we are headed down to Hype Cave as we do find out that, oh my god, Desert Palace is boots locked today, but we also did start with the boots, so not really that big of a deal. Yep, that, that is a, a convenient feature of casual boots, is never being boots locked out of Desert Palace. Uh, we got Chris, or I'm sorry, Pendants at Ice Palace and at TR. So that early ice rod, maybe not as much of a blessing as we thought. Yeah, it does kind of look like it does kind of look that way. So although with that being said, we do have a lot of things that we're going to need to find to be able to complete this uh, complete this seed. Thanks to having um, <laughs> having Swamp Palace now in play. We're going to need our hookshot. We're going to need our mirror. Going to need a whole bunch of other things here. So, yep. And a very, very unhype hype cave there. I think it was just small rupees and bombs pretty much for futon there and looks like we're going to be heading west out of uh the hype cave area going to go check out stumpy go check out our uh go check out our dig game see if we can find any sort of interesting items there as nep is going to make her way out of desert palace really fast and probably go check out akina's cave I didn't see what was on uh, Desert Ledge either, but there is the second item on the boss of Desert that we cannot complete here. Yeah, and uh, the Desert Ledge just had a piece of heart here, so Nep's not going to have a whole lot of interest in doing that. But uh, instead, setting our, our dashes around as Futon goes ahead and just starts digging for five rupees. That's it. So not a lot of value there in the South Dark World. We'll see if he's, I imagine he's probably right on his way over to the uh, Village of Outcast entrance here. Yeah, I think it's about time that we go ahead and take down one of our one of our crystals here. It feels like a pretty good time to go and say hello to Blind with our five hearts and green mail. 
Yeah, I certainly would expect that to be the play very soon here, and Nep is going to make her way over to Sahasrila and get her Moon Pearl as well. Now, I guess there is a question. If Nep wanted to be super aggressive here, uh, could take this Moon Pearl and immediately go down to the portal down at uh, Flute Spot 5 there and jump directly into... <laughs> directly into... Um, uh, pod, but that is a very aggressive play. As I, I, I am kind of reminded myself that uh, it's five hearts, but it's not green mail. It is blue mail. Right. It is. It is blue mail. But at the same time, you're doing pod without a mirror, without any fire source. Uh, even if you, you know, it is an aggressive play, and I, it's probably one that she considered. But I, I think probably the right option is to put that off for just a little bit later, when you can maybe do it a little more cleanly. Yeah, and it looks like Nep's gonna go ahead and favor the um, the Village of Outcast route here. Go from Village of Outcast and then curl around, probably get Hype Cave and heads your way to Pod after that. Um, well, since Futon already went ahead and did that, he's gonna probably hope for a mirror to show up here uh, pretty soon so he can go ahead and uh, maybe route in Graveyard Ledge and, um, and King's Tomb after this, but... Still a little early to see exactly. I mean, uh, Skull Woods has not been checked by, uh, not been checked. And there we go, there we go. We got a lamp, so there is a fire source for Futon. Yep, and that will be, uh, you know, that may open up Pod as much more of an option for him following this play through through Thieves Town here. Uh, I imagine he'll probably at least dip the, the front of Skull Woods first, but uh, that would be kind of a clear next place to go uh, for him unless we get like, you know, a hook shot, something up to open up Death Mountain or something else along the way here. Yeah, no, that that does seem like a good point here is where we get our first two uh, first two chests in Thieves Town being just the small uh, uh, big key and a piece of heart. So still going to look around here. Nep going to have to work her way through uh, Thieves Town. I'm going to go to the back now since I uh, didn't get a small key out of that first chest. So going to have to try a little harder to get through this area. Yeah. And there are our boots uh, there in the vanilla big key chest of Thieves Town. Uh, that never gets old. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to admit, I do have a, a small preference for the uh, the latter feature where it actually gives you a second pair of boots. But uh, the green 20 is maybe a little more utility to, to the runners, even if it's slight. Yeah, no, I mean, if, if, you, if you're going to show me, hey, I've got the boots and then here's another pair of boots. Yeah, there's always a, a brief moment of uh, hesitation slash confusion where I go, wait, I already. Oh, wait. Yeah, right. Yeah. And uh, kind of go from there. So, all right. Nep picking up uh picking up that item out of the back there and it's gonna work her way through the rest of this as futon is uh, having a bit of a time in the uh in the hellway there yeah no one's ever had a bad time with that room before no no piece of cake room never an issue uh except for when you walk in there with uh, green mail and like five hearts and then walk out with a uh, game over screen staring at you <laughs> but uh Moving on here, <laughs> as we, as uh, Futon showing us a few more interesting things here. Nep uh, having to deal with a bit of a Gibdo party, and there, there we mitts. go. Yes, so there the is Titan's some progression there in the front of the or a front of Skull Woods rather. Right, Titans mitts for Titans mitts. All right, well, that, let's see, what does that actually open up right now? I mean, that uh, kind of <laughs> opens up Smith Chain. That's pretty much it at this point. Um, but, and it doesn't, you know, it's nice, but I think Futon will probably make his way, way, way there soon. And, you know, like like you said, Smith Chain is really all it opens up at this point for Nep. So not a, not a huge advantage there unless Futon decides to skip School Woods, in which case it could become... Uh, much more of a factor with that location yeah it's kind of an interesting interesting thing there i mean you you finding mitts is is a good thing because they're always required to complete the game but the issue comes into when do you find mitts finding a late mitts is usually better than finding an early mitts because early mitts opens up everything and late mitts you know provided the seed allows it 
uh, right. can if you really don't have, speed if, up your seed. Yeah, if you, if you don't have all of the uh, late progression items gated by those mitts, uh, can certainly be a, a weird advantage to get to it later. Um, and at this point, like I said, we only have the two checks and, you know, Mural of Smith Chain is not going to be the highest a priority for these runners right now either. All right, Futon into the blind fight. As we've all said, it is a scripted flight. fight here. Nine hits with any sword or actually any uh, weapon that damages blind will take care of it for, through the first two phases. No problem. There's another one and down blind goes. So that's going to be crystal number one for Futon here at about the 24 and 30, thir 24 minutes and 30 second mark. Aaron is rewarded with a mushroom and the first crystal. Yep, so now the kind of question is going to be, will he continue his route north here and check out uh, Skullwoods to hopefully find those those uh, mitts? Looks like he is going to continue in that direction. And Nep will take her route south and find all the good nothing that uh, Futon already discovered down at Hype Cave and Dig Game and Stumpy. So be kind of crossing paths a little bit back or back over each other here. Now, the big question for Nep, though, is is uh, you did pick up Titan Smiths. You're going to walk right by Jeremiah. But you've also opened up Pod right now. So you're going to pick up Jeremiah. You're going to stop at uh, Hype Cave, turn him in, and then go to Pod. Or are you going to go to Pod first? Which way do you want to go on that? Yeah, that's a good question. And, you know, absent another reason to come back to Kakariko, we can't we don't have powder. We can't do fake powder yet. Um, you know, you're really coming back just for that Smith turn, turn in if you do pick him up now. And with no flute, maybe that's something you put off for a little while. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a kind of a hard one. I mean, I feel, I feel like, you know, the, the general philosophy of, you know, clear your dungeons is probably the right idea there where, you know, you're going to go to pod because pods also got, you know, what is it, five items in there? Uh, probably the better play, but... Yeah, it does... I feel like my personal preference would be to get over to pod and, you know, maybe see if we can put off Smith chain till we have a mirror. Uh, of course, if mirror is on Smith chain or, you know, some other major value there that can backfire, but uh, that's rando as they sometimes say. <laughs> yeah, no, hundred percent. That, that, that is, that is rando in a nutshell where you, you do, you do something that is the percentage uh, percentage, the right play, but it uh, turns out, yeah, no, uh, not today. Yep. Anyway, Futon has uh, cleared out the other chests and is now dropped into the front of Skullwood. So he's going to get his uh, two small keys here on the left side and then pick up his Titan's mitts from the bumper room as well. And then we'll see what direction he chooses to go at that point. And there are the Titan Smiths for Futon real fast here. Gonna take a couple minutes just to walk out of uh walk out of Skull Woods here. Looks like probably got something else on his mind here, and I'm kinda curious what exactly it is. Maybe he is gonna go for the Smiths here. He could, or he could take this over to, you know, maybe Catfish and get that kind of weird check done. Uh, after checking uh, checking what's on the uh, bumper ledge here. It could be. I mean, that would make sense. Does has flippers to put all of that into logic. Nep takes down blind without any issue there as we get a piece of heart on bumper ledge. And we are now tied up at a crystal piece for both runners here. It looks like he is going to head back south, so I, I can't imagine this is anything but the Smith pickup here for Futon. Well, maybe route in hammer, hammer pegs, pegs here while yeah. you're here. Yeah. yeah. As uh, Nep continues on south here, I'm gonna blow open the brewery. There is, if I remember right, nothing of consequence in here. Yeah, that 20 rupees is definitely not consequential. And there's our first medallion of the seed there in Hammer Pegs. Uh, we will need at least one of them to get into Misery Mire, uh, but we won't know which one that is until we find uh, the flute to be able to get over there. Yeah, that is a that is an interesting interesting little thing to find for sure. Uh, you, I mean, like you mentioned, we do need to get at least one of those. Now, 
it's a at the moment it's a 33% chance that that is the one that you want. Yep, so we're going to see a Smith turn in here for Futon and see if Nep, you know, we'll see see that decision that you mentioned earlier. Does she pick up the the Smith here after doing dig game as well or does she just choose to go straight through from Hype Cave on to Pod? Yeah, that's an interesting question. That is, that is, that is gonna we're gonna find that out in a minute. But uh, first, we're gonna get uh, King's Tomb check over on Futon side for a piece of heart. There, Nep sees the five rupee prize from Dig Game and immediately runs away. And Nep's decision is to skip the Smiths. All right. Yeah. So I this is this is kind of this is a, a bit of a big moment here. Smiths are not a. Are, are not a fast check by any means. I mean, they, they, especially if you're doing it without a mirror, without a flute, it takes a considerable amount of time. So if Futon is to ping something here off of this, uh, off of this Smith chip turn in, uh, that could be a bit of an, a uh, bit of an early advantage for him. Right. And it also depends, you know, even if we find, come back later to something on purple chess, as we see just 50 rupees there from the Smith, uh, you know, even then, purple chest later could be something that we come back to, uh, and especially if we don't find a mirror before then, uh, that could even be, you know, consequential in terms of time. Now, I'm surprised to see Futon coming back up here into the dark world. I feel like this is going back for the purple chest. We're, we're, yeah, we're, uh, like he not... is committing to this. And I kind of respect that. There, I mean, a lot of times you'll turn in the Smiths and then say, ah, there's nothing in the purple chest. And that just kind of turns into your last location just because that's the decision you make. Um, him not making that is, is going to kind of change some things real fast. So this is another another chance to basically get paid out on doing this kind of awkward check. Right. And he did have a little bit of an advantage in getting to that... Uh getting to that moon pearl sooner and getting into dark world earlier over Nep. Uh, obviously he doesn't know that since he's racing blind here, but um, you know, he did have a little bit of time to kind of to work with here. So doing a couple of slower checks here in hopes of finding something that would pay out for him. Uh, we can see at least that it's, you know, maybe not such a bad option. Okay. Now I think I know what Nep's doing here. Uh, took herself down to a single heart. Um, in order to probably set up a quick death warp while in pod, but the thing is, I don't think she released her fairy yet. Uh oh, foreshadowing. Yep, uh, this is one of those moments where you kind of go, I, I, I think I might feel like what's going to happen next. Yes. Take this, fireball to the face, and say hello to our fairy friend. All right, chat was uh, paying a little oh, bit no. more attention than us, as usual. Um, ah, she did release she did. her fairy in Waterfall Cave earlier to ah. get the, uh, the the potion there. So she she was a step ahead of us there. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so what you're saying is I should actually be paying attention to chat occasionally. Oh. Eh, you know, they, they, they have some, like all of us, they have some good things and some, uh, you know, other things to say. Okay. Love each other. Probably, pro pro probably not the moment where I ask chat what's on ped, right? Um, <laughs> At least we know it's not an ice rod. It's not an ice rod today, thank God. Uh, one thing we are going to get to see here with uh, Futon's routing is that we will get to see him complete uh, Desert here uh, and see the second item of Desert Palace uh, that was on uh, Landmo. Right, so we've got two runners in two different crystal dungeons, kind of giving us a look at exactly, you know, what is there to be found right now. So, Nep has already found the, I want to say, already found the map and the compass here. So this is just going to be small keys from this point forward in the front of a pod. Yeah, all, all the, all the fun stuff is in the back. Which tends to be the way it is with pod um yep. i mean bullet mansion right indeed meanwhile we see futon finishing up here he's gonna get check the big chest and then head back to to landmo here to get his second item out of desert
But yeah, for those joining us, uh, this is the the final round of the uh, ALTTPR Invitational League uh, Championships. Uh, this is the first matchup between these two runner or between these two teams. Um, it's a best three out of five with different modes being played in each of the five games. Uh, we did see half magic there for Nep in the dark basement of Pod. And there is our big key. And at the moment, if I remember right, the next game is scheduled for... F at, at the moment, the, the next game is scheduled for Friday, and that's a cross-keys match between, I want to say, Relkin and Solsky. Um, as things change, we probably can get more... Uh, we'll, we'll make sure to you know follow the Speed Gaming channels there for more information about where ex what exactly... Uh, when the next matches are, because they will appear quickly here as uh, Nep picks up a Master Sword out of the back of Pod here, sets up a bomb to blow themselves up so they can get back to the front of the dungeon. Yep, so we'll see uh, what Helmasar has here and get a uh, second crystal for Nep as we have a boss fight incoming here on Futon's side for his second crystal as well. Good old Ice Rod Lanmo here uh, is a sneakily, sneakily, sneakily difficult fight, just like saying that word is. And <laughs> goes ahead, gets two of the two of the uh, Lanmo down here, and now unfortunately kind of has to choose between Fighter Sword and Hammer to take down this other one here. Good old Hammer uh, hitbox there, really working well for Futon. All right, got one hit there. Yeah, the Ice Rod does the same damage as the Fire Rod, but it has a slightly different uh, kind of lag and delay to it when firing, so... Um, it does make for an interesting fight. Uh, that said, Futon does take down Land Mollus, gets 10 arrows as his reward, but does also get a second crystal. So, can we talk real fast about the uh, heart situation for both runners? We can! How is it that we're 36 minutes in with basically, you know, two to three crystal, uh, two to three crystals completed here between the two runners? I mean, I'm giving Nep the uh, Helma Sword right now, um, and we've still only got five hearts. Well, you know, the problem is that neither runner has gone back uh, to clear Aga and get that heart piece off of Lumberjack Ledge that we saw at the very beginning. Ah, and, you know what? You got you bring up a good point. Yeah. Um, I think that's, you know, just a sign of just how risky these runners are playing it these days. Yeah, no, yeah, it's 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 a rough one for sure there. Uh, I guess we're going to have to go and get every little heart piece that we possibly can here at this point. <laughs> as, as we're going to go into the uh, Helmosaur fight here over on Nep's side and immediately take a bomb to the face there. Um, so yeah, Nep tries to tried to lead off the fight there with a couple of bomb shots. The the bombs do the equivalent of four hammer uh, hits onto the the mask there in the first phase of this fight. Unfortunately, the bombs also bounce off of that mask. Uh, so <laughs> neither of those those first two bomb hits landed. And now comes the trickier part of this fight, which is uh, you know using the sword extension there, which Nep does a pretty good job of to. Um, take down the second phase. Uh, meanwhile, over on Futon's side, we did see the mushroom turn in and then a very quick hard reset afterwards. Uh, so Futon's going to hold on to that mushroom as a just in case for later on. Uh, but nothing of value over there at the potion shop. Right. And just just the just the utter confidence in not in seeing that piece of heart and deciding I want no part of it whatsoever. <laughs> You know, um, and it's, it's one of those things, maybe maybe they're thinking, you know, until we have a mirror, I just want the fastest death warps I can get. And the I, best way to do that is just not health health. That that actually does kind of make perfect sense uh, <laughs> in a way. I know we're just being, we're being real glib about this here because both, uh, both of these runners can easily handle the game on this much health. It's not comfortable, uh, but... You know, you don't get to the finals of the of the league here without being, you know, good at the game. Indeed. And, you know, especially like we did talk about earlier, uh, they do have blue mail. I believe Futon still has his fairy in tow. Um, they both have a blue potion in, in their back pocket. So, you know, even if they do find themselves in a sticky situation later on, they've got the means to kind of work around it a little bit, uh, even with the low health right now. 
Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, so Nep sees the piece of that piece of heart there, walks right by it, decides to go ahead and pick up another blue potion to replace that. Uh, I, I, would, I would imagine the the fairy that she dumped or something, yeah. <laughs> or the bee, or one of them. The yeah, thing I forgot kind of, about. It's kind of interesting that uh, Futon cho chose to save scum that. I think it's probably unlikely, especially with nothing else left in uh, that area for him to go back for. To you know, for, unlikely that we'll see him um, necessarily do a fake powder, but you know he does leave that avenue open for himself by by safe's coming that. Uh, whereas Nep is not going to have that option when she goes back to you know potentially routed in with like a Smith check or something like that later on. Right, right, right. I mean that, that is that is a uh, that is one of those things that you kind of have to think about. It's not likely to change the game there because. Uh, I don't know, fake powder outside of Key Sanity rarely, rarely seems to uh, uh, swing the game for you. I, I mean, there's been a couple of famous cases where it has, but... Uh, um, I, right. yeah, it's I, I just one of those things it, it that it's, it's so out of the way, you know, especially without a flute even right now, that, that it just doesn't seem like even if you wanted to, that would be like a really good option to try and make a big play. Yeah, I mean, uh, this is this is one time where I kind of have to say for Futon, it, it, it is uh, it is a good thing that went ahead and did the Smiths, but I'll, I'll, looking through and kind of kind of playing through everything that we've done in the seed, are we looking at either Old Man Rescue and like the Spectacle Rock Cave or Eastern Palace as our next progression? Uh, it sure looks like that it has to be uh, one of those two, and I think we haven't seen Catfish or Pyramid yet, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, uh, yeah, there's that, those, those fun checks as well. So, yeah, there's, there's a couple of places left open, because we've had both runners here just decide to, you know, uh, basically take each other's place. We've now got Nep here in a Desert Palace about to fight Landmo. Uh, with, with that half magic, this would be a considerably easier fight than... Um, than uh, Futon did can kind of spam that fire uh, that ice rod a little bit more. That is true, yeah. Um, but yeah, Nep's gonna have kind of you know both runners once they complete their respective dungeons here are not gonna have amazing options available to them. But you know with Futon having already knocked out all of the Smith chain, he has one fewer kind of bad check in his back pocket here to to decide between. Uh, at this point, whereas Nep's going to have to make that decision now on, you know, which one of these kind of out of the way checks to, to go after. Yeah, because for Nep, Nep still has Smith Chain involved. Uh, so maybe changes a few things there for her to think about. Maybe her equation shifts a little bit as, oh my god, Futon finally made six hearts. An unbelievable effort there. Um... Looks like Nep is going to come south here. I'm thinking this may be a trip in the dark world for Pyramid Catfish at this point. Yeah, I mean, I uh, can't really see anything else to do in that area here as Futon went ahead and did the uh, hammer yum to get across here. This way, avoiding having to do a death warp there, I'm uh, going to be able to keep, uh, I believe, keep the fairy uh, that they still have. Um, Nep paying a little bit more attention than we were about what the red crystals were because just picked up the big bomb. Oh yeah, so that, that does make more sense as to why she would uh, immediately jet over there to Desert Palace. I knew that I knew that Desert was a red crystal, but I missed that Pod was. Um, so yeah, that is a good heads up play there and does give her kind of more density to route in here with the Pod and Catfish checks. Yeah, that would explain why uh, when Nep came over here, she just did not even have show any interest in checking out the pyramid um, until she went ahead and cleared out those two dungeons. So yeah, like you said, there's going to be basically three items now sitting here uh, on the pyramid for her and the uh, possibility of whatever is up on Catfish. And uh, Pyramid Fairy, despite those two early uh, red crystals being in logic, was not the answer. Yeah, no, that was that was the that was nothing. And uh, pyramid, that's three bombs as well sitting there on the pyramid. So 
uh, you know, smart route from Nep, but not paying off there. Rando deciding, nah, this is not where the items are. Keep looking. Yep. So we'll see if it's uh, Catfish or if we need to head up to Death Mountain or to Eastern Palace here. Right, and Futon on the way back, they're going to take on Helmosaur. Not expecting any real trouble with there. That grand total of six hearts, everything's going to be fine. Holding out that sword to give himself a little bit more extension to his ham upward hammer shots, because as we know, the hammer hitbox is just hot garbage. Yeah, the, the up hammer uh, hitbox, not, not anyone's favorite thing in the world. You learn to adjust to it, but... Um, and I looked away for just one second. Did we see anything there on Catfish? Uh, I, I honestly was watching uh, Helmosaur explode. Looks like, and Looks like just arrows, according to chat. All right. Well, thank you there, chat, for keeping us honest today. Uh, as Futon goes ahead and takes down Helmosaur, like we mentioned there, that's going to be crystal number three there, tying up our crystal count for both sides. Nep going to make the decision to go up, and at the very least, you're going to get the old man's save point here, and probably, um, I mean, if you want, I guess you could kind of brute force Spike Cave right now. Wouldn't be a whole lot of fun. Um, I... Yeah, she does have two blue potions. Futon has a fairy plus a blue potion, so I guess that's in the pocket for him as well, but probably not anyone's first option there. Yeah, but I mean, if you're up here, right? If you get up there and you check uh, the inside of a uh, Spectacle Rock Cave, it's got nothing. I mean, when, are, when else is Spike Cave going to be, you know, more... You've you've got a available. you've got a very good point, and yeah. uh, you know it's sure going to feel bad if you go to Eastern Palace and all you get out of there is a cane of Burna. So, <laughs> yeah, that would that would be a day where you just kind of go, okay, yep, that not my day. Yeah. Meanwhile, we're going to see Futon do the uh, Pyramid Fairy check here as well. All right, inside of Spec Rock is Quake, <laughs> which opens nothing for us at the moment. Yeah, that, that's going to get a big old question mark uh, surrounding that there. And what's more for this is uh, this kind of makes the Spike Cave uh, play a, even a little bit less um, interesting. Because you, you'd have to either bomb jump across, meaning you'd lose a heart. <laughs> right. And you probably can't yeah. do Spike Cave. Yeah, uh, when, you, when you have to go through the extra effort to get back out of the cave uh, via the bomb jump or whatever else. Um, yeah, I think at that point, just skipping sky Spike Cave altogether is probably the answer. All right, so we got Futon running up to Catfish here, and Nep is going to be taking her way over to Eastern Palace here. So what seems to be the right play at this point is to come over here. So... Going to take a quick look inside for the three items in there. It's a uh, green pendant is in Ice Palace today, so uh, we might not see Nep finish this, but it's going to depend on the item layout. Right. Uh, if we haven't missed anything, then I think there. I think we know there is guaranteed to be some form of progression here. That said, you know, at least I have missed several things so far, so don't take that as you know true gospel. I, I'm I'm actually kind of hoping for the uh, cane of Burna just because that would would make me giggle. Um, <laughs> uh, just, uh, or oh, at, at this point, with half magic, we could also get the cape. So that's true. All right. Well, first item out of Eastern Palace just going to be uh, the big key here. Now, Futon deciding not to go there. That was a kind of a quick false start starting at Link's house deciding not to do it and there's a hook shot okay so that's going to open up all of east side death mountain yes so uh that yeah that's you know obviously hard required there um that opens up quite a bit for us you know not just you know it gives us access to paradox gives us access to tower of hera gives us access to super bunny and hookshot caves so that's a lot of items, and uh, you might even see when Futon gets over there, since it'll be uh, essentially a last location for him, we might just even see him leave immediately upon finding that hookshot and not even bother checking the last two items here in Eastern. 
Yeah, that's always a big question there, right? You pull the uh, you pull a big item out there out of the first of three, knowing that Eastern is just kind of an annoying place to go. Nep not even deciding to you're just gonna leave an item behind in Eastern there. So yeah, that's an aggressive play there, but probably the right one. Yeah, I feel like when whenever you open you know twenty plus checks on the mountain like this, you have to just kind of you know prioritize getting there above all else. Um, versus, you know, doing potentially two slow checks in Eastern Palace for just one item. Right there. I mean, if it's not sitting there in the Eastern Palace big key chest... Oh! Oh! How? Um, that was some friendly dead rock behavior, which is not a thing that you say very often. Yeah, I'm actually quite confused there. Wait, what? Uh... Gotta love this game. Every time you every time you watch, every time you play, something crazy happens and you just kinda have to shake your head. Nep getting to seven hearts. Just and speaking of Spike Cave. Ooh, speaking here we of go. Spike Cave. Futon is gonna uh, give us a go. Alright, I like this. Let's see what we get out of here. Uh Alright, gonna have to brute force the living daylights out of this here. Uh, got some silver arrows from the five chests of Paradox over on Nep's side, as well as a tempered sword. So a couple of nice upgrades there, but no progression yet. So definitely the Ganon, uh, the Ganon completion pack there over on Nep's side, but that's about it. And, and unfortunately, yep. just fifty rupees there. Yeah, unsurprisingly, if uh, if Bike Cave is not in logic. Doing it usually means you're not going to get anything here. But, uh, all right, Futon making their way over to Eastern Palace, going to grab, find their hookshot, and that's going to be a decision for him. Uh, exactly how deep he wants to dip into that dungeon. Right. Uh, nothing up there on the floating island, so we'll see. Uh, Ether Tablet and Tower of Hera here from Nep before she heads back over to that side of the mountain. Yep, I'm gonna pick up another crystal there out of uh, out of Hera, but first from Ether Tablet, hold the sword up to the sky, and it drops down uh, three bombs. All right. I do want to point out that uh, apparently all of the hearts that we were commenting on earlier were just big chilling over in Paradox Cave because Nep's now at nine hearts instead of the five she was at just a couple minutes ago. Yeah, dang. <laughs> you look away for two seconds and all of a sudden there's just a massive amount of hearts. Okay, with the compass in the bottom here, the big key up front, Nep is going to do one of the smoothest Hera pots I've seen. Oof. Yeah. And... <laughs> always feels good when you hit that, that first try uh, hook speed Hera pot. Uh, just feels great. Yeah, that was a pretty thing there for sure. Uh, picks a piece of heart there, uh, our first item out of the big chest, and get the second one here. Ah, uh, that is the small key of uh, nobody wants to see. Yeah. Um, this will be, be an interesting choice if the uh, second item here in Hera is in the basement. With no mirror and with still so much left to do on the east side of the mountain, I would almost be surprised if Nep went back for it uh, if the second item does happen to be in the basement here. Yeah, that's a hard one. Uh, just, it's a long, long walk here as uh, Moldarm goes down and Futon continues a little bit further into Eastern Palace. He'll pick up this item out of the big chest and question time, do you gonna, is he going to continue? He is. This is a big moment. If something, you know, oh, we're going to skip the Eastern Palace big chest though. So this is an interesting play. I wonder if he's, you know, maybe feeling behind and says, you know, well, I want to, you know, do a play here. But, you know, if, if this ends up being, <laughs> he's having some trouble here with the uh, green Igors, um, you know, I wonder if this is one of those things where he's making the play here to kind of, you know, have Ped as an option for him as, a, as an escape valve if he feels behind or continues to feel behind later on. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little... A little surprised. Yeah, Nep deciding though that uh, you know coming back here and orphaning this uh, ch this chest in the bottom, not going to be something she's interested in doing right now. So yeah, instead, so she's, yeah, she's setting up a death warp here to do down in the uh, in the basement room here. But uh, we're going to see uh, a couple of different 
<laughs> different gambles here and how they pay off for our two runners. All right, now Futon is hoping desperately that the last item in this area is going to be here on Armos Knights, because if not, ooh, boy, that was a bad, that was a bad guess. Um, <laughs> no, so uh, that, that, third item, <laughs> <laughs> that third item is on the big key chest, and just money there for Nep in the uh, basement of Hera. All right, so, so both runners' plays there, not really helping. Now, Futon, at, at this point, that Eastern Palace big chest is something you are never going back for <laughs> at this point. Uh, that is that is the end of that chest. That chest does not exist. It has been deleted from the game. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty much exactly the case there um, for him. Uh, Net, meanwhile, going to come up here. We're not going to check Spiral Cave, uh, which is... Interesting. We're going to go right into the uh, right into the Turtle Rock portal. So file that one away as well. Man, if it comes down to like single locations for these two runners, that it, it's going to there, there's there's both runners have left something behind right now that is going to feel terrible to come back to. Um, but yep, as we get Quake there to open up uh, Turtle Rock. Now, since Turtle Rock's a pendant, we don't actually want to go in there. And Nor can we Samaria, without a Samaria. Yeah. yeah, without Samaria, we can't. But I am i got to be honest with you, Will, I'm kind of half expecting a Samaria to show up in the next, like, 10 seconds. <laughs> it does feel like the way this one's this way, the way this one's swinging so far. All right, well, so Hookshot Cave so far has not been... It. There's nothing there, so let's try Super Bunny. Yeah, just some just some more love there in Hookshot Cave. Um, if you're Nep, what do you do after this if Super Bunny is nothing? Are you going to do Smith Chain or are you going to do Spiral Cave? Which one do you want to do? Oh my gosh, neither one of those sounds like a lot of fun. There's... Oh, well, she's going <laughs> to... How about go do Spike Cave? <laughs> that seems like what she's going to do. I'm betting on Spike Cave. <laughs> oh, as we get Cape and uh, Cane of Burna there for Nep, that basically is telling her, hey, there's something in Spike Cave. But uh, funnily enough, we already know, nah, there's, there's nothing in Spike Cave. So, uh, Spiral Cave or Eastern Palace Big Chest... A big key chest, or um, I mean, that's it, right? <laughs> that it has to be one of those two, and oh, both man. of our runners have each, uh, to some extent, skipped one of those two options, um, thus far. Wait. So, oh dear. <laughs> yeah, no, we got something here. As Nep sees the fifty rupees and it goes, wait, what? <laughs> All right, All well, right. she's starting at Sanctuary, so I'm guessing this is going to be a uh, smith chain for her, which we already know is not going to pay out with either the smith or the purple chest. Yeah, mirrorless smith chain. That's going to even up any sort of like uh, time difference between these two runners. Basically, it's going to just cancel it out here since uh, Futon had already done this. Kind of knows that, unfortunately, uh, for him... I guess, yeah, he's going to have this really, this same sort of nasty decision that uh, Nep had a second ago where, you know, you, you, you've got the, you've got the item left in Hera basement. What do you, what do you do with it? Right. He's going to have that option. Um, and, you know, especially after, you know, last locating Hookshot and then the Eastern Gamble not paying out, you know, you wonder what kind of his, his state is with regards to... You know, what kind of plays do I have to make to get, you know, get myself back into this? Obviously, we know he's not like, you know, he's a little behind, but he's not, you know, way out of it or anything at this point. But he probably is thinking like, oh, well, Nep is God routing this, of course. And I have to do something, you know, I have to do something to get myself back in this. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things you have to kind of wonder to yourself. That there's a voice in your head going, hey, what happened if my opponent decided to dip Eastern? Right. But I, man, I don't know. Like, like in this, in this stage, kind of with the meta being the way it is, I can't see a situation where your opponent would have dipped Eastern. <laughs> I just, I, I, I don't, I don't, I, I feel like y you kind of maybe feel like that was the last location for you both. Right. 
And, but I mean, this hook shot is just giving you nothing. Yeah, the, the, there's been absolutely nothing from the mountain up here, uh, unless we get something from Spiral Cave. Um, and yeah, this has been, you know, you, I, th I think if you think of it sober mindedly, then yes, you don't expect your opponent to rush Pendant Eastern uh, for a hook shot immediately after getting Moon Pearl with glove and hammer in hand. That said, you know, when you're in a race and, you know, focusing on your execution and your routing and everything else, you, you do have a tendency to overlook, you know, certain details like that and think, oh, well, I must be behind because it's going badly for me. Right, so, right. Yeah, trying to think of like the, you know, try, trying not to tilt yourself is actually a very difficult skill there as a... Uh, Alright, Futon trying to make his way out of Hera here. There he goes, finally hits the switch. Yep. Uh, he chose not to set up a Death Warp there and uh, had had a little bit of fun with the getting the switches in order on his way out of there. Uh, we will see if he does choose to do Spiral Cave here though uh, and go up the mountain via Dark Death Mountain versus opening up uh, Turtle Rock as Nep did. Yeah, for his sake, I kind of hope he does do Spiral Cave, uh, just because <laughs> just because we know that it's one of the uh, places available. Um, but yeah, it's 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 uh, we're gonna see in about ten seconds here. Is he going down? No, he's not. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Decision. Oh, no, we are. We are. We are going back. <laughs> All right, so we're going to find out uh, if our progression is here or uh, potentially just sitting over there in Eastern Big Key Chest. Oh, man, doing the ants in his pants dance right there. Uh, the little dash there trying to decide, wait, do I want to go up? Do I want to go down? Wait, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so Spiral Cave, are you the answer here? And? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that's a Maybe. <laughs> to be determined. <laughs> oh man, uh, you know, not not getting to not not getting to commentate a seed for like a month and then coming back to this one. This is a real joy. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I, I I presume at this point, with Nep going back to Eastern, that we're going to get our, our our final answer on Eastern Palace Big Key Chess. And if it's the shovel, then I just quit. Um, <laughs> I mean, at this point, I, I, I am, I, I am talking with just like the biggest like Cheshire cat grin on my, on my face here. Um, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, on Nep's side, gonna put the cape on, dash through these cannonballs. Uh, Futon taking the extra, extra trip up the mountain to go ahead and open up this uh, portal on top of a uh, turtle rock. And then, oh. Wait, where was Quake? Oh, uh, Quake was inside the, um... Oh, that he didn't in get Spec Quake inside... It was in Spec Rock. Oh, he didn't yeah, get he Quake. Yeah, he did not get that before he did Spike Cave. I missed that. Okay, that's oh. interesting. Ooh. Okay. I guess he's gonna... Man, if, 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 you're, if you're rooting for him right now as he gets his hilarious uh, Spike Cave pack, uh, if you're rooting for Futon right now, you actually really kind of want... Uh, Misery Myers open, you know, open medallion there to be Ether, I think. Because if that's Quake, that's a whole nother trip for him. You're also kind of hoping that, you know, Samaria isn't the thing that shows up at Magic Bat, because if that's the case, then he's going to have to run back up there, get that Quake, and run over to TR after this. Uh, at that point, you have to deal with that incredibly treacherous uh, uh, bomb jump across. All right, Nip gonna pick up our third item here out of eastern palace it is the fire rod so um okay that opens up what one chest in skull woods and all of ice palace yeah um, dot 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 yeah so it looks like we're gonna head straight over to ice palace first here um which, you know, given we, we talked about this a while ago, but like, you know, with nothing paying out from the flippers early, um, you know, you, you kind of are a little bit more weighted to thinking like, well, they have to pay out in some way, given that we got them in sphere one. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to see that powder turn in here and hopefully it won't be, uh, you know, this if, if there is something here, then this gets mighty interesting now. 
Yeah, it, it, this is going to kind of determine who's got the advantage on this seed right now. Uh, it is 100% Nep has the advantage because that's just a piece of heart. So uh, unfortunately for Futon, his skip of the Eastern Palace big, uh, big key chest, uh, not going to help him today. No, but on the bright side, he doesn't at least find out earlier than later that he has to go back there. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, it's obviously not ideal having to make uh, yet another trip over here, but at the end, of, you know, you'd rather find this out now than after you've done another 25 checks in the game and are just missing your fire rod for go mode. Oh, 100%, 100%. But uh, so we're going to come through. And, and what's kind of nasty for both of these runners here is this. Actually, on Nep's side, we don't actually 100% know that something is here in uh, Ice Palace. Um, it could just be a red herring. Um, I, I kind of expect there to be something in here, but we don't know that. Right. Uh, you're, you're playing basically with the green pendant four versus one odds on you know, Skull Woods being the other option. But with Skull being a crystal, you could certainly make an argument that maybe you should be running over there first. Um, I have to see what Futon does, because if he decides to do exactly that, it might be able to save him a little bit of time if that's the direction the seed decides to go. Um, Nep showing us the ex super fun of having to do Ice Palace the somewhat intended way with the bomb jump and stuff. Shoutouts to everybody who runs NMG in chat. Indeed. Shoutouts to NMG runners and your love for using the bow on Lanmo. I don't know how you do oh. it. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. So uh, next chest here is just going to be a whole lot of nothing. As Ooh, Nep takes a little slide down that hole there. So not what she wanted to do. He's going to have to now run all the way back through. Uh, to the top here. We just get doing the, the the full tour of Ice Palace. Yep. As there goes, Futon picks up his fire rod and probably is probably is grateful that his mic is not being played to the uh, general audience today. Yeah, and he is starting at Link's house as well, so I expect we're going to see him go straight into Ice uh, just a couple minutes behind here as well. I mean, it makes sense. It's the, you know, at, at some point you do kind of play the item density game. Um, I, 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 to be honest though, the Skullwoods dip is interesting. I mean, what, what was it? Uh, the, the tracker uh, uh, summation of seeds or something that there was like a 25% chance of something being in, uh, in Skullwoods or some crazy number like that. I think I remember reading that. Uh, uh. Yeah, I, I, I didn't peruse that too much because I don't believe that math is real, but uh, it does seem you know, like there is a strong candidate for uh, Skullwoods being you know, being the source of our progression in this one. Like we said, we only have uh, really five item locations available and, you know, granted four of them are through in or via Ice Palace but uh, it's still, still an interesting sort of gamble here. Both runners in here, and Nep about to finally show us another chest here after having to do a little bit there. Perhaps Gold Sword. Now, is that item one or item two? I think that is the first that we have seen here. That is not a dungeon right. item. Okay, so yeah, uh, Gold Sword, I mean, you're not going to say no to it. It definitely makes pretty much every boss in the game extremely easy, but that's not going to help you you know, finish the game faster in a lot of ways right <laughs> no. now. No, 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 it's not. All right, so our uh, our sojourn through Ice Palace continues here. Gets a, a heart container. Well then. And did we see the big key yet? Or is the big uh, key hanging We did see the big key was down in uh, Ice Tea. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. All right, so Nep's going to be able to go ahead and uh, open up this big key chest here. And I think at this point, it doesn't matter whether or not you get progression. I think you just finished this dungeon as deep yeah, as absolutely. you are. Yeah, absolutely. Well, there is progression uh, with a mirror, and Nep Ooh. is going to leave. Um, I agree, actually. Um, 
Yeah, I, I can. I think that makes sense with all of Swamp now being opened, as well as a couple of other individual uh, overworld checks with that mirror. But I but, think the, those six items in Swamp are going to be the big. But yeah, if you're if you're rooting for Futon there, there is another out right there. Uh, finishing the dungeon, getting that green pendant, um, either landing something on Sasharala or something on uh, the pedestal is an out futon. It's a, it's a little bit less likely, but I mean, at this game, I mean... I, I think if you're a futon here, I think you kind of feel like you have to complete this dungeon, uh, given that you've already completed an Eastern for nothing. You know you're at least getting an item from Sahasrala out of this, if nothing else. But, um, yeah, there is some of just you got to play to your win condition at this point. Like, if you've already done that, you kind of have to keep going and just hope that, uh, it's not a seed that you just missed. I mean, yeah, any anytime you're last locating something on your second trip into Eastern Palace with the big key chest, you always are going to feel, uh, feel like you need some sort of big home run swing. And Pedestal is just as much of a, a valid option for him as probably anything in the game that's left as, at this point. Yeah, and especially when Samaria shows up there on the first real check of Swamp Palace. Uh, so that's Nep needing basically a flute to be able to go over to uh, Misery Mire and see if uh, she is 100% in go mode. So flute and possibly Bombos if the seed wants to get nasty is what we're looking for at this point. Yeah, so, you know, on the bright side for Futon, looks less likely that we're going to be, you know, probably less likely, I guess, uh, that we're going to be going into Turtle Rock. But, um, yeah, his, his biggest out now is that, like, either Flute or Bombos just hanging out on Pedestal and... If it's right on the path here, like in, you know, one of the main chests of Swamp here, then I, I it, it could be yeah. no coming back from that. Not, yeah, there's, it, it, it's at that point, you just kind of have to shrug your shoulders and go, well, that eh, wasn't my day. As mm -hmm. Find red mail there, so that's two items out of the six uh, in Swamp Palace found um, over on Nep's side. And, you know, as is tradition here, if you're one item away from possible go mode, you're not going to go ch check uh, left side because that's slow. Yeah, so we'll see a diver down from her here and get the two chests in here as Futon gets his mirror and then we'll see. Uh, yeah, it looks like he is going to continue on to Cold Stare. No, we're not. Oh, we're not. Oh, I. Mm, yeah. I mean, I get that. Uh, I, I get the feeling there, and if, if I'm not mistaken, Nep has just hit five dungeon items here in Swamp Palace. Right. So yeah, this could be. Uh, I think there's almost zero chance we see her go back in for left side, regardless here. Um, but then, you know, on the on the other side of that, where does she go otherwise? Because there are not a lot of options still. Uh, we well, can hit up K45. There's the one item still in back of Skull. We've got Graveyard Ledge, but... Uh, well, we, we did just kind of open up Turtle Rock. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that that that's a thing that just happened. That That's Samaria. Yeah. It's like, yeah, oh, that, that's that, great. No, wait, that's terrible. I wanted the other item first. <laughs> yeah, that that is a thing that, that exists in the world. And yeah, no, that, never mind. That's there's our sixth swamp. item. <laughs> that's a god swamp there. Uh, that's why you don't check. Don't check the left side if you're if you're one item away, or if you don't get a dungeon item. I guess yeah, that's as nice of a swamp as you're ever going to see right there. Uh, indeed, and yeah, chat uh, also pointing out that Bombo's tablet here is probably the first option that Nep will go with uh, yeah, before makes sense. heading up. Yep. All right, and basically, again, yeah, at this point it is, hey, where is the flute uh, for both of these runners? Well, not quite Futon yet. He's got to check, he got to go down to this next chest, and then he'll end up with that. Well, never mind. There is our flute uh, hanging out at the Bombos tablet. So once we get over, activate that, and see what the medallion is for uh, Meyer, we will find out if Nep is actually in go mode at this point. 
Yeah, we're very, very close here uh, on this point. Oh, man, if you're Futon, if you checked uh, Bombo's tablet first, uh, man. <laughs> that said, even if you had checked it first, you know, you're still probably going to be opening the stuff on the way for Bombo's as a just in case, I feel like. Yeah, you maybe skip the red mail. That's about it. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's a good point. That's a good point. So as uh, Nep plays the song of her people there to open up the open up our little bird friend and let our duck fly us to Misery Mire and let us know if we are actually in go mode or not. Looks like she is going to go clear uh, Skull Woods first here uh, when she remembers how to get there. <laughs> <laughs> One of those. Oh, wait, do I have mitts? Yeah, wait, no, I do. Right. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, Futon about to get his red mail here. And so, I'm originally going to do the whole of left side. This, this <laughs> is a shame. <laughs> well, sometimes when it's just not your day, it's not your day, right? Yeah, I mean. I, 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 I guess I could see this. I mean, uh, I, this is a, something like, oh man, if there's something on the left side, I can gain some time back here. Um, but if it's just the map and the compass or the map and the big key leading to the compass, uh, I mean, that's going to feel real bad. It, it is. It is going to feel real bad here. But, uh, alright, well, Nep's gonna make her way back onto Mothula here. Uh, get the... Hopefully get the item just off of that. Uh, if you don't get the item, I, I, I kind of wonder if you maybe go, you know what, let me go check this, check what's underneath, just because it's like a, I don't know, 15 second check, but... I don't know, hard to say exactly what's gonna happen in it. Man, I do feel sorry for Futon right <laughs> now, because this... This is this is just going to be uh, rage inducing, I think, on his side. <laughs> <laughs> right. There's the map. Now we get to see if it's the compass or the big key leading to a compass. Hey. Oh, good. We get delayed, whatever the opposite of gratification is. Uh, furious anger? I'm not exactly <laughs> sure. Right there. Uh <laughs> So Nep picks up uh, picks up twenty rupees there off of Mothula. So knowing that that's our second item out of the, out of uh, out of uh, Skull Woods, we do open up uh, a little bit of knowledge now. So heading down to heading down to Misery Mire, we're gonna find out real quick: Are we almost done with this seed, or do we got a little bit more to go? The answer is, that's Ether. We're done with the seed. Nep's in go mode here. Just got to go clear out the last two dungeons, and then she will be done. A little bit of good news there for Futon is that he will not have to make another trip up Death Mountain to go claim that Quake Medallion from uh, from uh, Spectral Rock Cave. The bad news, of course, is that he's going to get to that probably a good three to five minutes behind Nep. And with Gold Sword, Red Mail, Silver Arrows, there's not going to be a lot of great opportunities for him to uh, really make up ground in the late stages of this race. Yeah, uh, it's it's one of those situations where it's just you just kind of have to, like like we said earlier, you just kind of shrug your shoulders and go, you know what, I made a play. Uh, it wasn't necessarily a bad play. Um, it just didn't work out. It's it's skipping that Eastern Palace big chest. It it, it big key chest. It it's um risky. And yeah. No matter when you do it. So we got two keys over here on the. Uh, on, well, it got a a key over here on the right side of uh, Misery Mire here for Nep as Bhutan goes ahead and picks up his last item out of out of a uh, swamp. And hopefully is just going to immediately dash over to Bombo's tablet and get himself into well, effective go mode as well. But yeah, this is this is pretty wild that we had not one but two major progression items in Pendant Eastern Palace 
that were available to us effectively in Sphere 1. Uh, obviously, the, the fire rod was behind the lamp in this one, but um, you could have you could have gotten over there basically from at any point from the word go in this one. And instead, we effectively last located items there twice for both of these runners. Yeah, definitely. It was, it's, 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 it was an awkward sort of scenario there where it, you've got it and you're kind of going, all right, uh, I guess I'm ready to go ahead and finish this seed question mark and uh turns out what you needed to do from the beginning of the from the beginning of this was just go to the <laughs> was was follow that bow to eastern palace even though it, the bow meant nothing <laughs> exactly <laughs> and and uh and and get the items you needed here um i mean not an easy seed but i mean as a final seed go goes you, yeah, yeah. This this kind of fits for that sort of a for for this sort of the, these sort of stakes right now. Remember now, this is only game one, so we've got We're gonna have at least uh, at least three games here. Um, as we mentioned there, I think the next game is uh, currently scheduled is for uh, Friday between Relkin and Solskis, and that's gonna be cross keys, which is you know, as always, a ton of fun. Yeah, and you'll also have Dante and Andy playing in one of the uh, the four selected hard modes. I do not know uh, what the selection will be for that one yet, but it will be uh, worth watching whatever it ends up being, I'm sure. Yeah, no, it's it's not on the schedule quite yet here. So, but uh, I I, th I think most people have heard of those two guys. I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure. But uh, yeah, you, you probably definitely want to uh, keep your ears out, keep your eyes out for exactly when that one gets added to the schedule. That's up to uh, Dante and Andy there to figure out exactly when they are free to play that match. Indeed. As... If you if you if you like pug sprites, make sure you tune in for that one because uh, it's going to be pug sprites aplenty. Uh, meanwhile, Nep gets her seventh crystal. Uh, she's going to be on her way to GT. I think this is about time that we end up playing that one little game. There's a game that we play? I think there's a game. Uh, so, yep, as we know here, uh, as Never everybody knows here, you've got a, about mm, a minute, minute and a half to get some uh, numbers into chat there between 1 and 22. Where you think the Ganon Tower Big Key will be today? We're going to go by Nep's County because, well, she's going to be in there probably a couple minutes before uh, Futon will. If you get your number right, you're going to win some, uh, I don't know, imaginary internet points there. And uh, Do we have a prediction going by any chance? We sure do. Uh, what is that there? Uh, it, it says, where is GTBK? And you can predict if it will be in an even-numbered chest or an odd-numbered chest based on, when, uh, based on the order that NEP opens them. All right, then. So, so a whole bunch of things going on, then, it sounds like, <laughs> as we're making our way up to uh, Gannis Tower. So, yeah, if you like gambling, we got gambling for you, unless you're in a country that bans it, in which case we don't got gambling for you. Theoretically, I am in a country that bans it, but I can still do it, so meh. Oh. Um, but, uh... Can we do something about this Days Cloud guy? Uh... <laughs> So uh, over on Futon's side, just the the unfortunate uh, unfortunate choices continue to pile up. Unfortunately, that big key is just sitting in the map chest over there on the right. As we are going to go in through the cutscene chest, there. Ah, smartly, uh, smartly. He recovers and and recovers does the, that, the vanilla uh, block puzzle, like a, a god gamer. There you <laughs> go. Meanwhile, meanwhile. Ganon's Tower opening up for Nep. We will see where that big key is. Man, it's amazing how how much this uh this this seed changes. If it turns out that uh that fire rod was in Spiral Cave instead of this, and uh, if you had number one <laughs> for your big key today, congratulations, you're right because that was the very first chest, and Nep is going to go very quickly up the tower now. Yeah, so we're not going to spend very long there looking for a big key. Um, and even gets the extra nice small key right next to it. I mean, uh, th I think that's the seed just kind of saying, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. Let's let's just finish this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we, we've all had enough of this. 
Alright, and Futon getting that nice little uh, door extension dash through that um, wall that's kind of there, but not really there. As goes in, picks up their big key, and is on their way to dealing with Vitreus. Yep, so she's going to be making her way up the climb here. Futon's going to head back and kill Vidi. He will have to make his way back over to uh, Skullwoods to finish off Mothula here as well before he can uh, head up to GT. Uh, but Nep's going to have uh, just a trip up the gauntlet here with half magic, with basically, you know, all of the weaponry maxed out at this point. Should not be an overly difficult climb for her and getting full magic drops on the way will not make it any more difficult. Getting that nice splash damage there from the fire rod shot, taking out that Stalfos in the last room here of the gauntlet. Going to make our way into Lanmo 2. Couple of silver arrows here to make this uh, theoretically easy. <laughs> Yeah, nice one, two, three there on the land molas. Hey, Bhutan taking just an extra second there to go ahead and fill up his magic there by pow powdering that anti fairy there. Uh, and, whoa, there's a, a very quick, whoop, having a little issue there with that last one. I was, was going to say, ran out of arrows there. He had enough arrows, uh, just enough for all of the small eyeballs, but uh, did have to take down the big eyeball with his gold sword there. Not too much trouble at the end. As Nep has made her way up to Torches 2. And not having any problem with this uh, tower here. It's just kind of what you expect w when you get to this uh, this stage of the tournament here with uh, runners of this caliber. Uh, you, you don't really expect GT to cause them too many problems. Uh, execution is not an issue <laughs> here, apparently. Nep goes ahead, picks up the uh, picks up one single heart there and a magic refill and jumps into Moldorm 2 as Futon's going to make their way over to... Uh, Skullwoods, go ahead and take out uh, Mothula and then probably join Nep up in Ganon's Tower at some point. Yep, so Nep will come across this gap here and head up to the Agatu fight as Futon goes to get his seventh crystal. Uh, just a reminder that this is game one of the final series. Uh, we will have a best three out of five for these uh, two teams. Uh, in the first three rounds, each of the three runners for uh, each team will face off in 1v1 matchups. Uh, race four, if necessary, will be a matchup of two individual runners choosing one of the uh, kind of various hard mode seeds. And race five, if it is split in the first two or first four races between the two teams, will be a co-op retrant seed uh, between the two teams. Ooh, a nice ping there from Nep uh, to get get a, a a very awkward angle hit there on Aga too. Yep, so just one one gold sword silver arrows fight with the big pig left. And yeah, and that should be about that. There is Ganon is flying through, about to crash through the pyramid, and yeah, this this I mean Depending on the Ganon's warps, uh, this 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 won't be take too long, I don't believe. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I do like that Ganon text, though. <laughs> yeah, but when when they updated it uh, a couple of updates ago, they they added some really really sweet options. We're just making this really super fast over on Nep's side. Just a couple of hits, and there you go. We're gonna put on the keep, even just to avoid any sort of damage. Not really in super. Not really in any situation that she has to worry too much. A Ganon hug would hurt, but I mean, with red mail, it's not gonna hurt that much. Yeah, but not a lot of, not a lot of warping there in phase three. And Ganon stays in place there for. Oh, we missed the the quick, uh, <laughs> the quick torch there. 
and see if we can get the triple here. Oh. And there, she knocks it out. Oh, so what a way to GG's clean it up. in chat. For Sailor Nep, gonna win race number one here when she crosses the bridge here for the Titan's Mitts. And that is official race time, uh, GG time of 1 minute, 28 seconds and 47 seconds. All right. And yep, definitely go ahead, get your GGs in. That's going to be game one taken by the Titans Mitts there. And uh, we're going to see if here we can maybe find out here in a second if we're going to have uh, either runner join us in uh, in the commentary booth here. Futon is going to go ahead and uh, play this out, though. So we will see him uh, heading up to GT here as well. Hopefully he will open up the hope room as well. Uh, as we are joined here in the commentary booth by Sailor Nep, the winner of tonight's race. Uh, GG's Nep. Uh, thank you. That this scene sure was uh, very interesting. <laughs> uh, just just go to Pendant Eastern, you know. That's that's what everyone is is you know. That's the new meta is just to go straight there after you know maybe even just straight after Sanctuary. I think in casual boots. I kind of wanted to go in. But I thought I already did that desert dive for nothing, so I better not. We'll just we'll maybe we can consider it later if Mirror shows up. Well, so much for that, huh? <laughs> right. Ah, oh. uh, yeah, yeah. It's certainly, it's, it's certainly you know you can't criticize the option there of you know skipping Eastern the first time when you get you know the Moon Pearl for Dark World access in uh, in Sahasrila and then. When you get, you know, the hook shot out of as the first item out of there, when you come back there, uh, you know, later on and it opens up the entirety of Light World and Dark World Death Mountain, you think, OK, well, surely there's going to be all of our progression up there, right? Yeah, exactly why I didn't stay, because Big Chest had that heart container and I'm like, OK, we got we got all this stuff opened up just now versus one item here, both of which take a while to check. No, thank you. I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, certainly. It, it felt like the right decision at the time, but uh, that fire rod had other plans. Yeah, if, if some other stuff had happened where maybe I felt way ahead, you know, maybe I'd have considered staying just as a safety, but since, once again, I was down those slow desert trips and everything i was not feeling it yeah and and one thing that uh futon did he got there um only slightly after you did into into eastern but uh he chose to continue through to uh finish the dungeon out but skipped the big key chest unfortunately so he got caught on the wrong side of that 50 50 and ended up with just a useless pendant to show for it and that's interesting that could have certainly led to a very different result it was it was crazy there at one point because you had skipped a uh, spiral cave right and uh <laughs> oh, no. at, at the time at the time futon had was up on the mountain there a little bit behind you and had, had a decision where he was kind of deciding whether he wanted to go to spiral cave eventually decided to go in he pulls out the powder before you get to the eastern big chest so we're just kind of sitting here going oh god is it really magic pad <laughs> <laughs> oh no! And uh, uh, I didn't mean to skip uh, skip Spiral Cave. Um, I just messed up. <laughs> ah, yeah. I mean, I I figured it was kind of a conscious decision between you know I can either do Spiral Cave and go up the mountain from the south, or I can open TR and if I find Samaria, just go in. Which was kind of you know I, I assume what was the, what was the what assumed what the thinking was there. Um. In this case, I was hoping, like, you know, maybe Kane will show up and then I can just go in and hope something good happens. <laughs> right. I mean, without Fire Rod at the time, I probably wasn't going too deep, but then that didn't happen. I was like, 
I, I think Spiral Cave just got obliterated from my brain the instant I got both invincibility items from Super Bunny Cave. <laughs> <laughs> we were laughing about that because we, we were we were kind of teasing the option of when when you both first made your trip up to, to Death Mountain without the, the hook shot, uh, you know, well, do you do Spike Cave here? Or is it just going to feel even worse when you get over to Eastern Palace and all that you get out of there is the, the Cane of Burna, you know? So getting both of the invincibility items there got a chuckle from us. Uh, as we welcome in Futon, uh, who is, uh, you know, with the delay here, finishing up on stream. GG's, Futon. GG's. GG. That was, that was a fun one. I, I know it looked awful probably for everyone else, but it was actually really fun. <laughs> it, it just... The pendant Eastern Palace just had so much punishment to dole out this seed, and I felt it, it, both of you, you know, ran into the roadblocks with it. But I feel like you got punished just ever so slightly harder there, especially with the the Eastern Palace big key chest skip. Yeah, that was. Uh, I felt really behind because I had done basically everything else up to that point, so I was just like, ah, what could go wrong here? It's one item hookshot unlocks a lot, and uh, you know, a lot could go wrong there. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? It turns out that instead of it being the 20 items up on Death Mountain that you unlocked, it was just the one that was left behind in Eastern that you needed. Yeah, I think even with that decision, I I probably would have gone to Death Mountain, so it wouldn't have changed. Aside oh, for, from like the two minutes it might have taken me to run back and get it, but like for sure, I yeah. can't I can't imagine skipping you know everything available on the mountain to go to do Pendant Ice Palace instead at that point. But yeah. And then my Swamp Palace, I just wasn't... I just went left right away, because I feel more comfortable going left with the key. And I was just like, ah, this will go great. And yeah, if I went to the back and was counting items, that would have been great. <laughs> yeah, it was It was a rough time for you to to do the, the, the left side check in the front when you have a god Swamp Palace there, unfortunately. Yeah. The my admission here is I actually wasn't counting items because at that point I was like, I'm getting the easy stuff in Swamp, I'm pulling the Bombos tablet, and if I'm not there yet, I'm just going straight to Terror Rock. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what we kind of figured the game plan was gonna be, you know, get the get Bombos and K forty five maybe and then head up to head up to TR. Yeah, there was a brief I, moment there. Oh sorry, go ahead, Nep. Oh no, I was just saying, but this time wasn't needed at all. <laughs> yeah, there was a brief moment there where we were kinda kinda wondering if you guys were gonna go finish maybe um cold stare or kinda go ahead and take that out, uh take him out there as uh Futon goes ahead and finishes up on stream. Make sure you get your GG's into chat. Any thought about uh going ahead and finishing up cold stare once you got that uh once you guys got that mirror? I decided that this time the green pendant just was not going to be there for me so <laughs> I, I i already felt so behind because of that whole situation with the fire rod i was just like i'm just gunning for it yeah i had a it was similar for me i didn't feel fully like i like i already knew i was behind but i didn't like i just got the mirror and i was like okay there's a world where having gone straight to ice, ice palace this helps me in some way so i'll just go with it but it was the second I mirrored and walked out, I was just like, oh, that was Green Pendant. I wish I stayed in. So for me, I probably actually would have killed Cold Stare if I was paying full attention. But the, uh, the excitement of the mirror got the better of me on that one. Oh, gotcha. I mean, you guys, uh, you guys played that seed well, especially considering I think you guys were 45 minutes in. And I, I think you had about maybe six hearts on both sides. <laughs> and... Uh, the early seed was kind of uh, a little bit stingy there, but then once you got up to Paradox Cave, the entire thing really opened up for you. Yeah, that that was kind of wild how just that hook shot was locking like all the health in the game. <laughs> and nothing else, basically. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, the thing that I was thinking about at the time was um, when I got the piece of heart out of the pod big chest, Having not had much health, I totally expected a refill. I was so relieved when it didn't do that. <laughs> I did too, and I think I think Futon actually got the refill from it, but he was coming through uh, via the, the the hammer yump route, so he didn't <laughs> didn't get messed up by it at least. That's not too bad then. 
Yeah, I was. Uh, I, it's often that no mirror makes me really, really annoyed at routing, but I, I think it just happened to work out this way that I didn't actually even need to mirror most of the time. Aside from Hera Basement, I really wish I had it there because I goofed that. But the one thing I would like to say is this is the final casual boots race of the season uh, in League, and when we were selecting the pendants this time. Previous seasons, I've usually been on the third pendant spot, but we decided to change it up, um, mostly because I still tend to be the game four person, and we didn't want the pressure of me having to potentially face multiple elimination matches in a row. So I said, well, I'll do my best. I feel okay at casual boots, but I have a tendency to just uh, throw in my routing sometimes, and that's how it felt tonight. <laughs> So it made me laugh, but I actually didn't lose any casual boots races this season, so I guess it was a good call. <laughs> yeah, and it was one of those things where, you know, it didn't feel like either of you really had any, you know, necessarily bad decisions. There were obviously decisions that did not play out in your favor, but, um, you know, we always know with these that there are going to be certain gambles, and especially later in the seed when you're, you know, in certain situations where you're feeling behind, you have to play to your win condition. I felt like, you know, both of you did that to to a good degree tonight. Yeah, I think it's hard to imagine your opponent makes that same choice uh, leaving with the hookshot because you can't know if they went into Eastern early or as a mix-up or anything like that, but... Uh, it was one of the things that kept my morale at an acceptable level going up GT is I'm just like, it could have happened. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think especially that leaving after hookshot choice, um, that, that was definitely not an, a comfortable call, but it was one I wanted to make just because how much it opened. And how little I had elsewhere. Right. Yeah, both of you were in that situation where you had both kind of cleared out the good, you know, all the quote unquote good checks once you got Dark World access. You know, you'd both done Thieves and Village, gotten your mitts together from, from Front of Skull, you know, had done all the South Dark World, had done Pod. And then it's kind of like, all right, well, which crappy checks do I do now? Right. Isn't that the way it is? <laughs> yeah, I'm always a big fan. I don't know about uh, Nap's play. I feel like a lot of the top competitive people like to do dungeons more than anything, but I'm just like, I'm huge on just clearing overworld that's close to me because I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm the best competitive player ever. So yeah, I just, I just like clearing things because it's satisfying. So it's like, I, I kind of get the feeling that I'm behind a lot of the time in the middle game anyways. So this one didn't bother me too much. Uh, yeah. I, I feel I feel that there's nothing better than when you've got the tracker out in front of you and you're just clicking off the little boxes. <laughs> I just don't want to like have to remember what little areas I haven't been to anymore. There, there yeah. is certainly a meme of of just go to the little green squares and it, it works out far more often than you'd expect. So I respect that. Yeah, I mean, I'm got me to the finals. Well, Andy got me to the finals, but well, I can pretend. Never heard of him. I uh, don't know. Him. Uh, yeah, you, you might have to get on your teammates there to schedule schedule the other game there, because uh, uh, right now we're uh, right now it looks like uh, like we mentioned a little bit earlier, uh, game two between these two teams is going to be uh, a cross keys match between Relkin and Solsky, and if I'm not mistaken, that is for Friday at 7:40 p.m. So that's going to be a good fun uh, race there. So people should make sure to go ahead and pop that one on their calendars because uh, you know these finals matches are this first one was a ton of fun you know provided you went to eastern palace <laughs> and didn't leave and didn't leave multiple times <laughs> uh with that guys anything you want to add before we shut this thing down for the night uh good luck to both teams in the races to come i'll be excited to uh sit in the stands for the next two and watch them. I'm hoping that we get to have circumstances that lead to seeing game five, because I want to see that Retrid showdown. Yeah, that'll be a good one. Plus, it'll be the next race I play, so, you know, <laughs> don't make this my last. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, GG's to both of you, and uh, thank you for joining us here uh, for the interview after the race as well.
Thanks for the tracking and commentary work and the restream as well. Yeah, thank you so much. You know, a lot of work goes into that. It's appreciated. Yep. So again, uh, thank you to our tracker tonight, Bandman25. Uh, he was on top of things for us all night long. Uh, thank you to Drossy for helping us out with getting the restream set up on the speed gaming side. Um, and uh, thank you to everyone who tuned in to watch. Uh, make sure to tune in Friday for the cross keys matchup between these two teams. And uh, also tune in for Dante and Andy's race whenever that gets scheduled. But uh, that's about it. Days Cloud, do you have any uh, have anything else or want to wrap us up here? Uh, yeah, nope. Like uh, like we mentioned, uh, just make sure to follow the runners there, follow the Speed Gaming Network so that you can be on top for when the next couple of races get scheduled. And other than that, guys, uh, hope you all had a nice night and we'll see you all next time. <laughs>